President has remarks today referred to seeking for assistance for partners, plural. Um, does that suggest that you've decided strategically to ask Congress for a package that includes both Ukraine aid as well as aid for Israel? And, you know, Chairman McCall suggested even including border and Taiwan money and that. I'm just kind of hoping you could give a state of play of how you guys are thinking about this and your interactions with the Hill. So I'm not going to get ahead of the President's request and I'm not going to take the place of the OMB director who will present the request that we send up. But the President was very clear today that we will be making a request to the Congress. And it will include a request for funding for support to Israel. And he has also been equally clear that we are going to renew our request to the Congress for aid to Ukraine. What exact form that all takes, that will be worked out and presented by others, not by me. But the notion that we're going to go up and ask for Israel aid and ask for Ukraine aid, that's unequivocal. We are going to do that. Beyond Iron Dome and ammunition, were there, were there any other requests made by Prime Minister Netanyahu today that we can expect to be part of that package? He, as I mentioned in my opening comments, he did make specific requests with respect to other capabilities. I'm not going to get into the details of that from this podium, uh, but he and the President discussed that. I spoke with Lloyd Austin, who was on his way to the NATO Defense Ministerial, about those requests. Secretary Austin is following up on that. And as I said in my opening comments, you can expect to see American planes flying into Israel uh, to deliver military capabilities to support Israel. 